Hi, I'm Mr. Franklin. In this video, I'm going to explain our first set of equations that we're going to use. Please write these down in your composition book. Write them down in the back or in a place that is easy to find. You might also want to save another page or two for more equations that we're going to add throughout the year. Number one thing, put them in a place where you can find them. So here are our equations, and I'm going to ask that you try to write them as close to what's written on the screen as possible, but let's go through these very briefly. So the first thing is change. When we talk about change, we talk about all kinds of things changing. We use the Greek letter delta, which is just a triangle, and it literally means final minus initial or second minus first, but final minus initial. And when we get down here, we will see an example of that. The next one is speed. So speed from our vocabulary is how fast something is going. And it's basically this, it's not the same thing as velocity, but mathematically it will sound the same, but it doesn't involve direction. How do we show direction? In physics, we use negatives, but speed, there is no direction. So there is no negative. So we put the absolute value around it for speed. So velocity is how much distance changes over time, okay? When we look at in instantaneous velocity, we just look at what's, what's the distance, what's the time, and that's the most basic version of this equation. But when we're looking at for an average, we can actually look at delta D or a change in D divided by delta T or change in T and we turn it into this, D final minus D initial. So the F just means which one are we talking about? And we use this a lot with our equations. We'll put some descriptor. So later you will see force of gravity, but instead of writing gravity out, we might write it as F little g, okay? Which can be confusing because we use we'll use all kinds of variables. So we might have um, distance, distance equals velocity times time. So we have more than one variable. So how do we know that that's not a variable? Well, it's gonna be super tiny, okay? And it's also gonna be on your equation sheet. So you should understand what that equation is on your equation sheet. Delta means final minus initial, so last, minus first, last minus first. We're gonna use this a ton. We're gonna use this delta a ton to, for a lots of things, okay? So acceleration, A equals velocity divided by time. We can also have, you don't have to write this one now, but we can have an average acceleration, which is delta V over delta T, which is velocity final minus velocity initial divided by time final minus time initial. I'm gonna ask you also that you should be doing this on paper and that it should be written vertical like this. I do not want you, if at all possible, you should not write it like this. Now, technically that means this and this are the same thing, but many of you, when we start doing algebra, you will mess that up big time with your algebra because we'll start multiplying both sides by things and you will multiply the wrong thing. So please do it this way and it will simplify things for you. Down here, we have force net equals, this is the Greek letter sigma, which means sum, okay? Which means we're gonna add all the forces together. So force net means we're going to add all the forces together. Sum of the forces. That's literally how you read that in math. Sigma F, sum of the forces. So force one plus force two plus force three, plus how many ever forces you have. We also have, Force in general is force equals mass times acceleration. Now notice that I did not write M times A or anything else. We just put them together. That still means multiplying. So they're multiplying. Weight is a force. So the force due to gravity is mass times the acceleration due to gravity, which in your notes we have written down. And if you haven't, this would be a good place to write it as well. G equals a constant. It is unchanging on the earth, 9.8 meters per second squared. So these are our base equations. You will use them when we start solving math problems. So write these down 
have them handy. All right, that concludes this short video on our equations for this unit. Thank you.